Hello there, Cancers. Welcome to your tarot reading. So the strong message that I'm getting for you guys is that um, I feel like you're dealing with somebody who really, really loves you, but they have a difficult time expressing affection and expressing their feelings, okay? Um, so I feel for some of you, this could be a mother figure. Others of you, like a mother figure, your own mother, an aunt, or somebody that had, you know, um, a, a, a hand or a role that played a role in raising you. And I, I do see parental figures actually, so it could be mother or father. And I'm, I'm seeing specifically uh, a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or a Leo. And then for others, it could just be, you know, somebody that you are in a um, romantic relationship with. So I'm seeing more family and romance. And here's the thing. I feel like this person, um, they are very, he or she, it doesn't have to be a female, but he or she is somebody who's very, very independent. They're self-made, okay? So they've had to, at a young age, go to, out into the world at a very young age to take care of themselves and take care of their family. So it's almost as if they had to grow up really fast and they had to take care of a lot of responsibilities in the practical front. And they had a lot of people who were dependent on them to be successful. So, you know, childhood was, uh, was not lived. Um, life was about survival. It was about, you know, making money. It was about taking care of siblings, taking care of parents, living up to other people's expectations. So I feel like this person um in the in their voyage of life they might have just uh, neglected their emotional development and uh i feel like uh, it's it seems to me like they needed a lot of validation you know and they didn't get that growing up and it feels to me as if um rather than expressing hey you know i really want you to stay home with me today or i really want to hang out with you and rather than just saying that, they, they feel uncomfortable, they feel embarrassed expressing their softer side because they weren't taught how to do that. They weren't taught how to be vulnerable and they equate vulnerability with weakness. And so they never tell you what they want and they never tell you how they feel. And whenever, you know, you don't spend time with them, then they get like angry. And so I feel like you're dealing with somebody like this. And um, you're racking your brains trying to figure out, like, what's going on? Are they okay? I feel, though, honestly, I feel some of you are flattered that the other person behaves this way, kind of like throwing little tantrums. And uh, some of you are flattered that they really care about you. And I feel like they genuinely really care about you. But I also, I'm, I'm a little bit worried because I feel like they're not able to express themselves in a healthy way. And so if you're dealing with this person, you need to, you know, have a conversation and you need to call them out when they are behaving emotionally irrational. They're behaving in an emotionally irrational way. So that could be like, you know, if they're upset with you and you can just say like, well, can you please let me know what you want from me? Because I can't read your mind. I don't know what you want from me. So it feels like when you want you you mentally want something, and I didn't know and I don't deliver, you get mad at me. So I feel like you need to have a conversation and try to flush this out, and try to encourage them to be a little bit more verbally and emotionally expressive about what they want, about what they need, and not to be embarrassed about it because. I feel like this is a really good person. Um, they're just a little bit immature emotionally and they, you know, a, a good relationship can be had. It just seems like it's a little bit tumultuous because they expect you to read their minds. Okay. Um, so, you know, even though you're flattered, it's still, um, if this is a new relationship partner, you need to have a conversation. Um, for others of you, I do see a lot of concerns about parents, okay? So um, they're, they're saying something here about travel and then concerns about parents. So I don't know if your parents are traveling, if you're thinking about traveling to see parents, but I do feel like something like health diagnos uh, diagnoses or even traveling to see parents. So those um, things are coming through. 
Um, the health situation, it will be okay. It will work itself out. But I do sense that they need you as well. So, you know, keep in contact with them. See if they're okay. Check up on your parents, okay? And see if there's anything they need help with. I feel like uh, elderly parents, um, and they might have something within their home that's structurally unsound, such as a fence, such as a tree fall that has fallen over, or um, they need like heavy furniture or equipment moved uh, from their house, outside of their house, or you know, to, to bring home heavy equipment. They might not have a truck to be able to do that, so they might need your help for some of you, or they might need for you to arrange uh, the pickup or the transportation, okay? So I feel like um, your, your parents, especially if they're on the older side, they might need you to physically haul something for them or to help them arrange some movers to help them move, okay? So um, reach out to your parents, counselors, and see if there's anything that you can help them with, okay? It could just be um, arranging for a pickup, a, arranging for removal or, or removal or helping them arrange some heavy items, okay? So that's what I'm seeing. Uh, there's a lot of home situations um, coming through and there's also, you know, um, honestly, I, I feel like the, the environment that you grew up in, there was a lot of, um, it's a very strict, like it's a, it seems like the father figure might have been, might have been very, very strict or somebody that a uh, father figure might have been very transient, like um, the father was like in and out of the picture or the father was just uh, very, very strict. But I do see some estrangement here coming through with the father figure that you might um, that might deter you from contacting them or, you know, going home often to see your parents. But, you know, contact your parents and see if there's anything that they need help with, okay? Um, I'm also feeling as well. Uh, I feel like there is a relationship that is a little bit emotionally taxing for you. It's, um, it's requiring a lot of work from your end. So if you have, for example, uh, a person that you have children with that you're not together anymore or you might still be together i feel like that relationship is on its way out because i feel like there has been a lot of stress and strain in the relationship one person feels like they're doing all the work and the other person is not reciprocating in some way so i do feel some imbalances and i also feel as if uh if the person especially is dealing with a lot of responsibilities they might lash out uh, for the next two weeks so i feel like you know that might um, create like a, a big emotional rift between the two of, of you. So just know that if you need to have a conversation, try to do it now rather than waiting to the very end when, you know, the damage has been done. Okay. So try to have a conversation. Um, teach them how to be emotionally expressive. Teach them how to be verbal about what they want, what they need from you, because I feel like they're expecting you to read their minds. And I feel like they're just a little bit um, more like on the underdeveloped side when it comes to their emotional approach to relationships. So they might need a lot of attention, but they act very stoic. So it's it's like a person who is contradicting them themselves. It's like, you know, they, they feel one way, but they behave in a different way. So I'm sensing that. And uh, I just got the word bipolar as well. Somebody who's um, who wants this, but they choose that. So it's like somebody who's um, working in disharmony with themselves, what their, their needs are and versus what their wants are. So that's somebody I feel is very prevalent in your life. Okay. So it's, um, showing up here, family members or loved ones. And I feel like you're going to have to step up and be the bigger person. Uh, and it's fortunate because you are a really, really caring, loving sign. And, and you know, like when you love somebody and when you know that they love you as well, you can move mountains for them. And I feel like that's what's needed here. A little bit more of an understanding, a, a gentler touch, kitty gloves as well when dealing with this person so that you can, um, you can like, um, I, I guess like, you know, wave away their fears because I feel like they're, they, they, they have dealt with a lot of fears and they had to grow up too fast. So I hope that you can, you know, stay calm and collected and just um, emotionally available for this person because I feel like they need you, okay? They might not know how to verbalize it, but they need you to just um, 
give them a little bit of leeway is what I'm sensing. All right. I do wish you the best cancers. If anyone can do it, it's going to be you. Okay. You're, you have a really good heart. So uh, best of luck with this situation. Okay. Take care of yourself and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.